The hills are alive with the sound of the sand dunes. <laughs> Hello! Can anyone help? Well, I need medicine. My leg is broken. Oh no! Your leg's broken. Yeah, Austin Powers. Uh, Tell me that was not your favorite movie ever. Yo, what up? So today we got a badass, high intensity Tabata workout for you to go through with your jump rope and with your body. Now if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a like, you subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you have questions, go ahead and comment below. And finally, you guys, if you wanna go deeper with the Zen dudes and get more awesome workout tutorials and countless other benefits, you should go to uh, our description and you should click the first link in there, which is a invitation to our seven day jump rope fat loss challenge. What's up, chicken? It's my boy Toby back there and his other homie Henry. All right, Zen Dude Nation, let's get started off here, guys. Today we're gonna start with jump rope, regular bounce. Those of you know what I'm gonna say who've, who've watched these workouts before. Brennan's elbows are in, wrists are jutting out to the sides of the hips, and look at him. He messes up and he just doesn't even care. He's like, whatever, I'm just gonna keep going. Good guys, make this count. You don't need to get a long workout in. It's not about how long you're working out. It's about the intensity at which you are working out. So push yourself, okay? Up next, guys, regular push-ups. Regular push-ups. Good. Activating more of the triceps, keeping the elbows in so that you shave. Sh excuse me, save your rotator cuff. Don't shave your rotator cuff. Save your rotator cuff. Here we go, come on. Good, up next guys, jump rope running in place, jump rope running in place. If you can't do running in place or any of the other tricks, that's totally cool. Just do regular bounce like I always mention, but just notice that running in place is not that much different than regular bounce. Brandon's only slightly picking his feet up. And if he turned to the side, you would see that he's not really picking him up that high, which is the which is important about doing this because doing jump rope successfully is about doing less and making those movements calculated and keeping a rhythm as opposed to um, big motions where you're whipping the rope around that will not help you spin the rope fast or for a long period of time. Tricep push-ups, guys. So Brandon's exaggerating um, the amount that he's putting his elbows in. He's having his elbows slide right along his torso. And so he's pretty much only, well, he's activating his chest, but he's activating a large portion of just his tricep muscles in the process. All right, guys. Jump rope regular bounce again, going back through the top. Let's go. Come on, pick it up. Now, what I recommend here, guys, is typically you want to start off uh, the beginning of the circuit, the first two jump rope exercises around 75 to 80 percent of your max and once you hit this one you should be going up to 85 90 95 percent of your max thank you guy who just walked through the screen there that was that was very nice of you it's cool he probably didn't see the camera it's so whatever <laughs> regular push-ups guys we got regular push-ups next same thing same thing up down up down you should be able to get in a 20 second increment those of you who are advanced probably around 15 beginners anywhere from eight to 10 push-ups. And up next guys, jump rope running in place. Last jump rope exercise of the day, so let's make it count. Good guys, sprint, sprint. Notice again how Brandon messes up and gets right back on track. That's exactly what I want from you guys. And don't forget, guys, we have a free seven-day challenge where we're going to be teaching everyone how to become better at jumping. Not only how to become better at jumping, but how to do it more efficiently so you spend less time exercising, but you have more fun. So be sure to click that link below and get into the free seven-day challenge. Tricep push-ups. Last thing, guys. 
After you're done this circuit, you're gonna rest for one minute and repeat it an additional four times, giving you a 30 minute workout from hell. Trust me. It might not be that awesome when you're doing it, but when you're done, you're gonna be like, thank you, Dan.